$200 flights to Europe? Can that be real? Let me level with you, kitties. We are taking Spain's version of Spirit and Frontier Airlines from the US over to Barcelona, kitties. Level Airways. Yep, that's the name of it. Level. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Level began operations in 2017 and is based in Madrid, Spain. It is a budget carrier, kitties, and everything is a la carte to the extreme. Sodas a la carte, blankets a la carte, headphones to watch movies a la carte. Breakfast a la carte, dinner a la carte, everything's a la carte, kitties. It is budget, budget, budget. And those of you who have been on these international carriers, like the Asian Airlines or even the European Airlines, let alone the Arab Airlines, where the flight attendants are all just beautiful and have these very glamorous uniforms, well, level as polos and khakis, kitties. It is a budget, budget, budget airline. But we like budget because we like low prices. And we went from Boston to Barcelona for $223, kitties. And that's with a slight upgrade because there was a lower fare, I think it was $40 cheaper if you didn't want to prepay for a check bag or get a meal. So for that price, we were able to pre-check one 50 pound bag and have that put under the plane and then you can bring a personal item and we got to have dinner and breakfast. And go ahead and get that little upgrade that gives you the bags and the meal because on level there's no such thing as a free lunch. They check your name against their meal list. They serve you the meal if you're on the list. If you're not, they keep moving and then the beverage person comes by and if they see you have a meal, they offer you beverage service. There is no such thing as a free lunch. And you certainly don't want to be on the plane hungry and smelling the food because the food smelled pretty darn good. So go ahead and get that little upgrade for the bag and the meal service. Or select one of the other food items that you can buy ahead of getting on the plane, kids. It's not a short flight. They begin checking in for the flight exactly four hours prior to boarding. So don't get to the airport early because Nobody will be there to check you in because they begin four hours prior to boarding. But it begins kind of chaotically. Because when you walk in the airport and you look at the board listing where each airline is checking in and you look for the level, you won't see the level. Nothing about it anywhere says level on the board at the airport. And if you didn't know that Level was affiliated with Iberia Airlines, you might be standing there for hours trying to figure out where you check in for Level. So as of now, kitties, look for Iberia on the flight board because it doesn't say Level. But when you get down to the actual podiums where they're checking in, they have signs that says level. But on those boards, it says Iberia, which they, they are indeed affiliated with. And to that point, if you want to make edits or changes to your flight once you book online and you call the 800 number listed, it will indeed roll over to Iberia and they will tell you after you wait for them to pick up the phone, that they have nothing to do with Level, and they will give you another number to call for another affiliated company, and they will tell you they have nothing to do with Level. So service is not their forte, 
they are a ticket seller that does not serve as a ticket so make sure you know what you want when you book it there are some tools online to edit your booking but they're very limited it is difficult to get through to a human that's going to help you with any ticket sold by level it is low budget low service prepare yourself for that fact they have a line for premium boarding and a line for regular folks like us who were in coach the coach line was rather long when we approached but they were very efficient and the line moved quickly to get us checked in boarding at the gate was equally as efficient they were pleasant enough and got you on the um, plane and seated in a very efficient manner but one thing about the customer base is they can be kind of pushy and throw some elbows like it's some grand rush the plane's not gonna leave until we're all on board but they act like the customers act like it's a competition to get on the flight so pack some patience if they want to scramble past you let them scramble let them let them win the race who cares but boarding overall was very very efficient the plane was an Airbus 320 I believe configure two four seats two seats two four seats two seats and it had a, a premium class it had premium economy and I was back in the back on the coach and again everything's a la carte so when you go to check in you can prepay to pick your seat um, we did uh, luck of the draw spin the wheel and ended up with a window seat towards the back of the plane the seat was not the most comfortable in the world but we paid $223 kitties it is what it is the plane itself it seems that the chairs had been upholstered not too long ago so the seating was fresh looking but you could tell it was not a new plane the bathroom showed signs of wear and tear and a few weeks ago we were on Eva airline out of Taiwan Taipei and the crew was meticulous about keeping the restrooms nice and spotless the crew on this flight didn't have that same passion for clean toilets so the bathroom was kind of it wasn't the worst it wasn't quite Greyhound bus station kitties but it was not the best either and you could tell the plane wasn't new because a lot of the bathroom fixtures were kind of worn but overall the flight for what we paid even if we paid more it was a decent enough flight the main dinner service they offered chicken or you could get a pasta dish and kitties kitties this was one of the best the best air plain meals we have ever had. The chicken was this sort of Mediterranean uh, chicken and cream sauce, rice bismati. It was delicious. <laughs> it was darn good, kitties. It had a little salad with different vegetables and that was good as well, along with a little prepackaged brownie. It wasn't a huge meal, but it hit the spot and it was tasty. The pre-landing meal was not as exciting at all. They served, you had a choice of either a tomato and cheese quesadilla or a ham and cheese quesadilla. I tried the tomato, the tortilla was kind of hard and it was just a very okay sandwich. And then they gave you a cookie for the pre-landing aka breakfast service. The movie selection, I didn't watch a movie, but the select selection looked largely old. I didn't see a lot of new titles on the movie selection. They also had music you could listen to on that. One thing that I missed that you all see on all international flights is the little map showing where you are and in the world and the amount of time before you land. They had the amount of time before you land, but maybe the map cost extra and they didn't buy that module for their entertainment system. 
One great feature for a budget airline is they offered free texting. So you could text on WhatsApp and different social media. And then you could buy internet if you wanted to go beyond that. So that was good. They do have free texting to keep in touch on the, on the flight. But all in all, it was a good flight. Now, there was not such a happy ending, though. Um, getting through customs in Barcelona was a piece of cake. They were very efficient. They tried to keep the lines moving as quickly as possible, but it took an hour and a half. It took an hour and a half for the luggage to arrive on the carousel. It would come out in little spurts. 20 bags here. 20 bags there. Then nothing. 20 bags there. And unfortunately, our bags were in the last lot of bags. An hour and a half for the bags to hit the carousel. I couldn't imagine if somebody had to take another connecting flight because you know when you land, you have to collect your bags and, and recheck the bags for your next flight. And so it was really bad. I'm not sure if that was an operational issue for the airport overall or just specific to this airline. But an hour and a half, probably a little bit over that. It's too long to wait for bags. But for the price we paid, aside from the bag issue, we were pleased, pleased, pleased with our purchase. The food service overall was good. The service was efficient on the plane. The flight attendants were friendly. It was comfortable enough. We were in coach. We knew we were going to be in coach in the economy. It wouldn't be plush and lush. But would I book level airlines again going to Europe at that price point? Most definitely. If you plan on booking on level, make sure you know what you want and are firm on it because getting customer service changes is not easy at all. So know before you do your final click to pay and book what you're going to get. If you want entertainment, find an old wired uh, headset to bring on board to save money on that. If you know you you um, are cold natured as they say, bring a small travel blanket with you because they charge for that. Um, go ahead and splurge and get the, the, the upgrade with the um, meal in the one check bag so you're not smelling hot fresh delicious food come out with your stomach growling when your neighbor has bought the food and you have not because there are no free lunches and they're not going to give it away you have to pay for food so go ahead when you book and get the meal service especially on a long haul flight and if you don't like the two basic meals they're offering in advance you can look on the website and they have other offerings you can get off the standard menu but go ahead and order those in advance on these long flights remember the airline is listed on the board as Iberia not as level airlines this is a budget airline and we knew that walking in kitties I have to judge it as it is for what it is did it meet my expectations most certainly it did did I get value for my dollar most certainly I did so what would I rate it based upon being a budget airline I have to give it 9 out of 10 and I only shaved the point because it took forever 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 for the luggage to come out Otherwise, for budget, I would give it 10 of 10. But that luggage case, 9 of 10, just leveling with you. Shall we? Yes, 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 shall we? Yes, please, please.